guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how to make this card, sort of. So I did hand draw this um, little Yoda. Um, I'm not the best drawer, but I was looking for a stamp which was big enough for, you know, the focal point of my card. And I couldn't find one anywhere. Um, I also couldn't find little small ones, to be quite honest. I found one which was like... 12 pounds and i just thought that was quite expensive and it also wouldn't have been here in time for this person's birthday so yeah so i mean, i'm just hand drawing this um i'm <laughs> seriously the worst drawer ever but you know um i think it did turn out okay um at the moment obviously it looks really bad um but once i go over it with my jewel marker by memento um it just looks a whole lot better so you know, um, so everything else I used will be linked in my description. Um, obviously I can't link my drawing, um, but all I did is I typed in Yoda, um, on Google to get an idea because a lot, a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I have never watched Star Wars. I have never even thought about it. Um, come to think of it though, I did go to the cinemas once with my friend Laura and we actually went in and watched um star wars the new jedi i think it was which was like 20 i want to say 2016 2017 i'm not entirely sure it could have been a lot later than that i'm not even entirely sure i mean it's eight years ago since i left school so it could have been like five five or four years ago but basically we went and watched it and i got bored halfway through it and i was just like you know i don't even have the energy to stay awake in this film so that defeats the object so i went out um, I tell my friend, like, I was leaving, and she's like, yeah, this is, like, one of the most boring films ever. So we left, and we ended up going um, to McDonald's, which is literally across the road. And obviously, we saw some people that they couldn't get into the, the the actual movie itself at that time, and we gave our tickets to them. So, you know, it worked out for those. Um, but, yeah, I'm not a big fan of <laughs> um, Star Wars or Star Trek, I absolutely hate it. I'm sorry for those people that love it. It's just not something for me. But here's the new version with the Tuxedo Black Jewel Marker by Memento. So I'm now just going to color this in using some Pro Markers. Um, <laughs> so I will talk to you guys when I start doing some extra details. But <laughs> sorry for rambling on. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys in a sec. I'm just getting rid of all my um, pencil marks and I drew in a cupcake and I kept the face mask in just because obviously at the moment we're still in COVID, um, the COVID world. So I drew in a face mask as well just to make it more relevant. So I'm now just stamping one of the hats which is from the Hats Off To You by Lawn Fawn. Um, I don't have the coordinating dies for this so I did have to fussy cut it out um obviously normally when i do that i would cut off the little strings at the top but <laughs> you don't really notice the hat really that much um obviously you just focus on yoda itself um 
Anyways, I stamped the happy birthday sentiment which came from the Yo Ho Ho which was a stamp set from the Entangled. And yeah, I just think this card turned out a lot better than I was expecting, you know. Um, I have to admit my drawing skills are not as bad as they once was. I used to love drawing all the time but you know I got to a point where I wasn't really into it anymore. But so there's me, I just stamped my sentiment um, and I felt like something was missing in the background. Now I kind of wish I had a solar system sort of like stamp set so I could add some like planets in the background but I ended up bringing in my star stencil and wild honey distress ink just to add something so it wasn't too plain you could totally leave it white if you want to but obviously for me i just didn't feel as if you know it was right um obviously star wars is probably space themed and stuff so you know but i do definitely like how this card turned out um you never know um but you know I am looking into making my own stamps, I have to admit, but it's just finding a manufacturer in the UK that is willing to, like, make, like, silicone stamps, if that makes sense. So I have found two companies, and one of which was, like, going to charge me, like, £22 just to have, like, four stamps made. Um, and they were going to be small images, so it's, like, quite ridiculous. Um, but the other one... Um, told me that I needed to send them like a template of the sizing, the images and all of that. Um, so yeah, I haven't done that yet. Um, I haven't been having time to do it and again it means I have to draw things and I'm not very good at drawing so yeah. Anyways, I'm just adding the stars to the background. So I wanted to use um, a blue for the stars but I changed my mind. I thought I'd have to go with like the realistic like yellow stars. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know, stars are actually even yellow, they're white, so what am I doing? Um, but yeah, so I'm adding some little black pearls from Lucy's just to make this have some more texture and dimension. <laughs> and then I'm bringing in some 3D foam adhesive squares just to prop up my hat off Yoda. So again, it brings in more dimension and texture to this card. Um... So this is actually from my mom's new work colleagues. So if you guys have been following my channel and stuff, you'll know that my mom got a new job in January and, you know, she found out that it was a couple of people's birthdays and, you know, she found out that three of the people she's actually working with are leaving. So two of them are leaving for a new job and the other one is actually due to retire in March, I think. Either March or April, one of them. But, yeah. So I'm going to add Wynn Costello to the the hat and just so you know it stands out a little bit more um but otherwise guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it um i hope it gives you some ideas as well that you don't always necessarily need to have a stamp and if you want to try drawing you know go for it but yeah i kind of wish i had some tracing paper and i could have just like traced an image but you know i don't have any um tracing paper or even grease through paper, I should have bought some of that, that would have worked too, um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe, follow me over on my social media, because that really helps, obviously, boost me, and lets me know people are, you know, enjoying my video content, as well, if you like the video, so make sure you are subscribed, because, again, it helps me, you know, like, the type of content people are liking, and yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video, stay safe, and happy crafting! Thank you.